Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky here again. Uh, it's time for yet another Thunder Cooker Falcon vlog. Um, we got a lot of different things to talk about today. Different, uh, but very similar in certain ways, um, as the theme for all of these things I'm going to talk about today is basically, uh, people be tripping. Before I, I really get into it, um, I do want to thank, um, all of the uh, new subscribers, uh, that I've been receiving lately, um, all the great comments coming from people, you know, I've, luckily I've been able to avoid the trolls for the most part, I'm sure they're coming any day now, um, but, you know, I've been getting a lot of good comments on, on my videos, and, um, you know, I'm getting a lot more views ever since um, I put out the kind of Dan Brown versus Michael Aranda, you know, argument videos. I've gotten a lot of new viewers and I'm, you know, watching the views jump up every day and that's awesome and I want to say thank you to everybody uh, for coming and hanging out and, you know, subscribing and hitting that like button and doing all that kinds of good stuff. So keep on doing that. Um, spread the word. You know, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma, I don't care. Bring them on. The more the merrier. So. Let's go ahead and, and uh, get into it. The first thing I want to talk about is we'll start with uh, the more major story and then, then we'll, we'll move down the line a bit. Right, so the first thing I want to talk about um, is this uh, guy, Michael Brea, who everybody um, keeps painting as a, a, an actor from uh, the show Ugly Betty. Um, and, and I feel kind of bad for the people that are affiliated with Ugly Betty because they make it seem like, you know, this guy was like a regular cast member and now, oh my god, you know, there's this big controversy. But for one, I don't even think that show is on anymore. For two, he was like an extra in like one episode. But they're trying to sensationalize it in any way they can, so they're attaching, you know, the fact that he was on Ugly Betty one time to this whole news story just to get more people to, to read it. Apparently, uh, he decided it was a good idea to go ahead and decapitate his mom with a freaking samurai sword. And as if that's not bad enough, it, it's it's not like, you know, it was just, you know, there was a heated argument or he just snapped. I mean, he snapped, but it's not like he just snapped and just did it. I mean, this guy lost his freaking shit. It just started tripping balls, basically. Apparently, it started when um, he was visited by God uh, in his dream. And he, I guess God was telling him, hey... And then he started like hearing voices and apparently he felt like he was in the matrix because people would just come up to him and start talking about his mother. Apparently he was also um, a Freemason or something. He was involved somehow with the Freemasons and, and he kept saying that they kept trying to put a curse on him or something. And so basically, the guy's fucking crazy. What really set it off is uh, his mom called him into the kitchen. Uh, to help with dinner, and saw her uh, with some chicken, and automatically assumed that since she's got chickens, that it's witchcraft, and she's the devil, and she must die. And then he takes a samurai sword, or a Freemason dagger, or whatever. It, it seems to be something different in every new story that I read, but the majority seems to say uh, it was some kind of sword. And cuts her head off. And he's saying, that he's, no, I didn't, I didn't kill my mother. I killed the demon inside my mother. Okay, buddy. Whatever you gotta tell yourself. And that's the thing that's really fucked up, is because he's not even, I mean, there's no remorse or anything. He's just like, no, don't worry, I got this. She was evil. And now she's dead. You cut her head off, you're good to go. Moving down to something l less horrible. Some woman in the UK uh, has come up with the genius idea um, that nobody technically owns the sun. So she has now declared herself uh, the sole owner and proprietor of the sun and is now going to start charging taxes for its use. Apparently she got the idea when she read about um, some American guy who decided that, you know, nobody really owned uh, the moon or any of the surrounding planets in the solar system, so he decided that he was just going to go ahead and declare himself the sole owner of the solar system, essentially. And she apparently heard about this and was like, hey, that's a good idea. I should own the sun and then I'll charge people for its use. I'm a genius. 
and apparently anyone that uses the sun uh, should give half of you know the, of their money for their sun tax, I guess, to the Spanish government, and then 20% to the nation's pension. Should also dedicate 10% uh, to scientific research and another 10% to ending world hunger. So you know. She's going to charge you for, for using the sun, but she's going to do good things with the money. Apparently she sees this as just a, a brilliant way to uh, stimulate the economy and get things up and running again. Um, so yeah, once again, people be tripping. The last thing I, I want to talk to talk about today is just kind of a... what? Like, really? A uh, rep for Peter Jackson, um, who is now officially going to finally uh, direct The Hobbit is saying that um, they made an unfortunate error um, because um, a British actress um, went to an open audition in, in New Zealand for extras for The Hobbit and she was turned down um, because of the color of her skin. And I know everyone's like, oh my god, racism in Hobbiton! And th that's pretty much the whole point of the article and I was like, are you freaking kidding me? She's of Pakistani heritage and she was turned down for a role in the movie because they wanted to, you know, they want to cast strictly pale skins and Caucasian um, actors. And of course right away she screams racism and apparently now she has like some Facebook protest group about it. Say no to Hobbit racism. And I mean, really, come on. I mean, like, I can understand, you know, her, her argument to a degree, you know, because basically she's saying, you know, it's 2010, um, and that, you know, those kinds of things shouldn't matter anymore. You know, it shouldn't matter if there's, you know, black hobbits or Asian hobbits or Pakistani hobbits. And I can understand her point, but at the same time, yeah, hobbits aren't real. Hobbits are fictional, and... You know, they're not trying to be politically correct or anything like that. They're just trying to, to go by what the book says. And that's it. I mean, it has nothing to do with racism. And I'm sorry, but you know, if they wanted to be all PC about it, and they wanted to try and not hurt anyone's feelings and, and kind of mix it around, and you know, they cast Jaleel White as uh, Bilbo, people would flip out if they were rebooting, you know, The Hobbit, if, if they were going that route, um, then they could do that, I guess, but it's like, okay, so you, so you went in there and you went to audition and they said, you know, okay, I'm sorry, um, but we're only looking for white actors to play The Hobbits. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, if that was me, I wouldn't take that as an offense. I would think, well, duh, okay. Um, you know, even just for for extras, I mean, I guess I can understand. It's like they're just going to be in the background. But whatever, you know, just leave them alone. All they're trying to do is just follow the canon. I'm just surprised that somebody is so quick to scream racism over hobbits. So once again, say it with me now, people be tripping. That's all I really have to talk about today. Just this kind of random things going uh, through my head. Um, I am starting another uh, segment, though, as kind of offshoots of uh, the vlogs here, called Inner Monovlog, um, and it's kind of other things just kind of running through my head. So if you want to check the first installment of that out, just go ahead and uh, click on my head and uh, take a deeper look inside. That's gonna do it guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, again, as usual, uh, make sure that you subscribe, make sure you comment and click the like button, um, and tell your friends. Again, you know, thanks to all the new subscribers, all the new viewers every day. Um, make sure to spread the word, spread it like crazy, tell everybody that it's the best thing you've ever seen, even if it's not, just do it for me. It'll make me, don't you want me to be happy? It's gonna be Christmas soon, folks, come on. Alright, see you guys next time. Peace!